Welcome to part four of our aquatic plant series. Today we're going to do deep water aquatics, which are basically classified as plants that can go 12 inches or deeper below the water surface. So we have the lovely parrot's feather here with its red stems that can go 20 inches down below, and then it'll go right up to the surface and keep growing right along the pond surface. And the fish love to play in this particular plant. Then we have mare's tail or hippris which looks like little evergreens or conifers. This one can go 24 inches below. And then, like I said, like looks like little Christmas trees once it breaks the surface and the fish will just swim between each of them. Of course, we have your traditional water lilies here. And we have quite a few colors to choose from. We have orange and aurora, yellow and chromatella, and a nice red in attraction. There are different vigors to water lilies. Plants like Aurora here are considered uh, a dwarf and can be grown in small ponds or very large containers. If you have a larger pond, varieties like Attraction, I've seen planted four feet deep below the water surface with, you know, six to eight feet of foliage on top. So if you have a larger pond, you want to think about which particular water lily you're going to choose. The other thing you can see, they're all planted in these mesh baskets with aquatic soil and gravel on top. And if your pond is deep and the leaves aren't very long, you can always take a pot, turn it upside down and stage this on top so that even if the leaves are just a few inches down, in one or two days, they'll extend and grow right up to the surface and you can continue to drop it. So come on down to Amsterdam Garden Center. We have a great selection of water lilies for you to choose from including this lovely variegated chromatella with its bronze and green leaves. Hope to see you soon.